Okay, y'all. Tonight, I will be making lamb. And I am going to make... Normally, I make lamb chops. But today, I'm going to make a lamb shoulder. It kind of reminds you of steak. I do not eat beef or pork. But I, occasionally, I will throw in a little lamb in there. Okay, and I was at Sprouts. And they had some lamb shoulder. So, I was like, let me try Sprouts lamb. I normally get my lamb from the meat market or Costco's. But tonight, I'm going to... Do the lamb shoulder from Sprouts and see what a heat info. Okay. And I'm going to be making it with some red potatoes and probably some asparagus. Um, now, my go-to seasoning for lamb is always the Montreal steak seasoning. And, of course, my favorite garlic. Okay. And rosemary, chopped onion, and I probably throw a little cowboy garlic on there. And, of course, my... I got this from Sprouts also. Y'all asked me about this last time, but this is Sprouts. It is this um, garlic sea salt grinder, and I love it because I love garlic. Y'all love garlic? Because I love garlic. Child, Tito's in the back. Tito's in the back, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so I will get started on this. Okay, so first I always put the, um, so right now I just put the garlic on there, the minced garlic, and now I am going to, what did I do with the dang one? Okay, so far I just used the minced garlic. Um, I put it on both sides. And now I'm going to use the rosemary leaves. I like to put the rosemary leaves on first, or the herbs on first, I would say, just because I feel like it um, makes the meat a little more tender. And like I said, I would normally do this and, um, Keep it on like overnight. Sure, I don't know. Sure. Okay. Montreal steak seasoning. Oh, I ain't open this one yet, so I thought I opened that one. So use that one. And this is kind of a um thin. Some cowboy, <laughs> Cow cowboy garlic. You need a little bit of that. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing. This piece is looking funny.
going to put this in the oven. Um, and I baked this. I mean, I put it on low broil. And normally I cook it about 10 minutes on each side. I like my uh, lamb like medium well. So it doesn't, it really doesn't take long to cook at all. I normally put like just a couple, a couple um, I guess tablespoon, not even a tablespoon, just a couple slices of butter on top. And I just do that because it helps it to brown. So actually before I put the lamb in, I'm going to, I'm going to um, get the potatoes ready because the potatoes take a lot longer than the lamb. I don't know, for some reason, I hate food to be cooked out of turn. Like, I like it all to be done at the same time. <laughs> so I'm just gonna roast the potatoes so they'll take like probably 30 minutes, 40 minutes. If you hate garlic, you probably will hate me. <laughs> but I do the same thing. I'm going to be cooking in this cast iron Dutch oven. And I'm going to put the potatoes in here. I already put the olive oil and garlic. And I just put nature seasoning. nature season and this is like my favorite season one of my favorite for vegetables it's garlic parmesan um and i think i even get this from walmart Publix, pretty much anywhere Okay, so I'm gonna put the potatoes in for about, like I said, about 30, 40 minutes. And um, toss it around a little bit more.
Okay, so the potatoes are roasted and they are brown. I did put some butter on there um, and I'll mix that up. But this is pretty much how I like them. Not too like burnt, but like, <laughs> you know, a little bit of burnt pieces with the seasoning and they're gonna be moist and buttery. So the butter melted. I might put them in the oven just for a little while. Like just a couple minutes. Um, while the lamb is still cooking.